Some time back, I made a video about how Windows Mobile is dying, and that people at RIM need to get on the ball and um, and make their BlackBerry accessible. I also made a comment on iPhone accessibility. Just really quick, um, I had confirmed there is a tactile overlay for the iPhone. It's called, um, oh shoot, what is it? InVision or InVisual, uh, one of the two. It's a case. And then you combine that with an application that you download from the App Store to make the iPhone accessible. It rearranges your home screen to compensate for the icons that are on this tactile overlay. And it makes everything accessible to somebody who has a diff has uh, lots of difficulty seeing it. But um, another thing they've actually managed to do is to make Blackberries speak. And I'm talking about a full-fledged screen reader for the BlackBerry platform. It's called Orator. And it's going to be out sometime in the first half of 2009. And it's going to be compatible... Um, well, actually, we don't know what devices it's going to be compatible with yet. But I can almost guarantee you it probably won't be compatible with the BlackBerry Storm. Um, because the regular Blackberries already have keyboards. You have the Pearl... The Pearl Flip, which I'm interested in. But um, I do not see this being compatible with the Touch without a very... without well, Compatible with the Storm without some very major interface tweaks. And I, don't, I, I, just, I just don't see that happening. Um, but Orator is a full-blown screen reader for the BlackBerry platform. Now, for those of you that do not know what a screen reader is, it takes what is displayed on screen that you would normally see and wraps it to synthesized speech. And um, that's basically how we um, gain access to our devices, is through screen readers. The people who are behind Orator are Code Factory. Code Factory have created MobileSpeak Smartphone, MobileSpeak Pocket, and also MobileSpeak for Symbian. And with Orator for the BlackBerry, we've now got all the smartphone bases covered. We've now got Symbian, we've got Windows Mobile Standard, we've got Windows Mobile Professional, and we now have BlackBerry OS all covered. Um, so the major players are now given full accessibility for those of us who have trouble seeing it. Now, the main reason I like this is because one of the, my big rejections to the BlackBerry has been the size of the icons and the size of the on-screen font. Um, it, I, I just don't like having to put my face so close to things to see it. And, um, you know, certainly while a magnifier would help, you know, not everything has the ability to magnify. And I'm also really... I'm not keen on purchasing a full-blown Windows Mobile Pocket PC device because those are what currently at this time um, well those and um, excuse me and the um, uh, smartphones they have a magnifier but the screen is so small that I really don't see that being effective um, partially because when it comes to Windows Mobile um, while certainly the magnifier can smooth out the fonts, um, everything is just pixelated. And when you enlarge something that's pixelated, it's just... Eh. So, yeah. Um, order for the BlackBerry. Um, Code Factory are behind this. Humanware is going to be the official United States distribution channel. Um, they're, call they're saying state-of-the-art TTS on board, but they have not hinted at what synthesizer it's going to have. Now, being that this is a Code Factory product and all their mobile speak products have deck talk, I wouldn't be at all surprised if this is going to come with deck talk or possibly real speak. Um, for those of you who have not heard of the BlackBerry, for those of you who are in my community who are familiar, who are familiar with Windows Mobile and are clinging to it as the only thing that you have in terms of being accessible. The BlackBerry is a form of smartphone. It is very easy to use. 
There are thousands upon thousands of applications available for the BlackBerry devices. They have full-on keyboards. They also have the BlackBerry key, which would be your home key. They also have a back key that's similar in nature to Windows Mobile Standard Edition. Um, in terms of the button layout, one thing to be aware of, though, is that instead of a, instead of a directional pad, you have a trackball. Now, I'm wondering how they're able they're, how they're going to make use of the trackball. Um, but the trackball is um, is you just roll it along with your thumb, and if you have some vision, you can see it light up if it's active, and you can also push it in. But that's your primary navigation. If you're going, if your your arrow keys your your arrow keys are this trackball. Um, what devices do I see this being compatible with? I'm hoping for the BlackBerry Flip and also the BlackBerry Bold on AT&T, which is also going to be the BlackBerry Niagara on Verizon when it's released. Um, the Niagara and the Bold have a very interesting profile in that they look very similar to the iPhone. In fact, they're they're very in terms of looks, they're very similar to the Touch. The only exception is you don't have the huge touch screen. Instead, you have your typical BlackBerry uh, layout. So what can a BlackBerry do? A BlackBerry is a very, like I said, it's a smartphone. Uh, you have web accessibility. You have text messaging capabilities. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and give you the, the link to the BlackBerry Order website. This is a collaboration project between RIM, Humanware, and Code Factory. Uh, Code Factory are developing the software in collaboration with RIM and Humanware are the distribution channel for the United States and possibly Canada. But, um, but yeah, um, there will be a learning curve for those of you who are so used to Windows Mobile that you wouldn't think of anything else. Um, there will be a learning curve. It is a very different environment, but from what I've been reading, um, up until the iPhone, the BlackBerry was the king for ease of use. Now that the iPhone is out, I'm not sure which is better. But um, in terms of screen reader accessibility, at this point, I can see the BlackBerry definitely making a leap forward. I like this. Um, it gives us a choice now. A lot of people will say, oh, I have a BlackBerry, or I'm texting on my BlackBerry. BlackBerry has become a household name because of its ease of use. There are special shortcuts. It is, it, it, um, from what I read, it sounds similar to the Macintosh in the fact that the, the shortcuts that they give you are very logical and laid out. Um, whereas with Windows Mobile, that may not always be the case. But yeah, um, so Blackberries now speak. This uh, product will be out sometime in the first half of 2009. And for those of you who are already at CSUN, uh, go ahead and take a look at it. It might be at the Humanware booth. For those of you who are not, I'm keeping an eye on Blind Cool Tech. I want to see if there's anything up on Blind Cool Tech about it. Um, for those of you who are curious, www.blindcooltech.com, B-L-I-N-D-C-O-O-L-T-E-C-H.com um, is a uh, website where we as uh, people who are visually challenged get online and podcast about various technology as well as various other topics, um, things like accessibility of products and so forth. So I can very easily, once it's released, almost immediately, we're going to see a review of Orator for the BlackBerry. But I'm glad to see this because I was really hesitant on Windows Mobile, but now that BlackBerry is going to become accessible, I'm looking at the Pearl Flip, if that's, if, if that's one of the supported smartphones. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. And have a nice evening. And for those of you who wish to try it, good luck with the order.